Hello and welcome back to another Power Apps tutorial. Today I'm continuing with Canvas apps. I'm excited to show you the formula needed to display the details from a specific gallery list view item. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is a continuation of my Trip Planner application. If you see a table, column, or app that you don't recognize, go back to my channel and start from part one. Let's follow along and get started. Once you have signed in to make.powerapps.com, navigate to Solutions, select the Trip Planner solution that was built in my previous video, part one, Intro to CDS, then find the Canvas app that you have been previously building. Click the ellipsis and then click edit. If you've been following along, your screen should look like this. You have your Trip Planner Canvas app with the form at the top. And I've actually added the gallery list view to our main home page. Before we had added it to screen two, I've left it there too. But you can follow the same steps to do the same thing in the home screen. Our main focus is going to be when the user clicks on one of these list items, you want them to go to a separate page where this specific list item will be displayed and all of the information from that list item will be displayed. In order to do that, our first step will be to add a new screen. We'll click new screen and then select blank. Then we'll want to add a form, but we want to make the mode view. So we will select insert, edit form, connect to data, trips will be the data source. You'll want to center this, add all the necessary fields. Once you've added the necessary fields, we'll exit out of here, and your form should look something like this. Right now, it's in edit mode, so we want to switch this to view mode. But as you can see here, none of our data has been added here from the list view previously. So what we'll want to do is go over to this advanced tab, go down to item. There's a few ways you can do this. You can also do it from this drop down here and select item. But inside the item input, you're going to start off with the gallery from the first screen. So gallery two, or whatever your gallery might be. Then you're going to type dot selected. And just like that, your information will populate. Now let's double check on one thing. Go back to your first screen, your home screen this is what it'll look like. You want to ensure that this gallery two or whatever gallery you have, the on select, the formula is going to say navigate to that third screen that we just created. This will ensure that when you click on each of these items, it will take you to that third screen and that third screen will populate all of the information for that specific item. Once you have ensured that you have navigate in your first screen, go ahead and test it. So you can select any of these and it'll take you to the third screen and it'll populate all of the information. To not leave this screen kind of bare, I'm going to take the same header from this screen, paste it into this screen, and I'm going to add a icon, the back icon, so that if the user wants to go back to the home screen after already seeing this specific trip, they can do that right on this page. So this back icon, we'll just, I'll put it at the top left hand corner, and on select, all you have to say is back, and that's it. Let's test it from the beginning. And there you have it. 
And that is how you create a details view page from your gallery list. If you have any questions, post them below. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter for all things tech. Thanks for following along and take care.